So today I am giving you a little tour and demonstration of what is inside my everyday makeup bag for summer. This is something that I've started doing recently where I just show you through every three months through what's in my makeup bag. I figured a little seasonal update is a great way to show you guys what I'm kind of using on my face on the daily and often uses products that I've talked about like in my favorites. It kind of demonstrates them in action, which we do have a couple from my last favorites on my face today. And of course, many of the products are ones that show up in every single everyday makeup bag video that I do but I think it's really nice to see just those products that are absolute staples in my collection that are featured every single time it's just like a nice reminder like mm, yes Anna does really love that but before we jump into the video I did want to give a very big thank you to Nord Green at Copenhagen who are sponsoring a portion of today's video obviously with Valentine's Day around the corner it's a perfect time of year to show someone especially in your life that you love them or maybe you want to show yourself a little bit of self-love this year as well. And a timepiece from Nordgreen makes a beautiful, beautiful gift. If you haven't heard of Nordgreen before, they are a Danish timepiece brand based in Copenhagen, led by the renowned Scandinavian designer Jacob Wagner. And they make absolutely beautiful and timeless designs that I have loved wearing on my wrist for nearly two years now. I just absolutely love them. They're the only watches I wear. And their designs also feature interchangeable straps, which are really easy to switch out depending on what look you're going for that day. And one of the reasons I love talking about Nord Green on here with you guys is that as a company, they share the love year round. Whenever you buy a timepiece from Nord Green, they will contribute a portion of that sale towards one of their three non-for-profit organizations that they support through their giving back program. And you as the consumer get to choose which organization speaks to you the most. So if you are looking to gift a Nord Green piece to one of your loved ones, or maybe to yourself this Valentine's Day, it's nice knowing that your gift will give back in more ways than one. So the style that I'm wearing today is actually an older style face that I already owned. It's the Unica watch face with the gold hardware. And then today I've paired it with a new strap that I got, which is the black leather strap. And I just think this looks really elegant, very timeless. I feel like it goes really nicely for day to day, but it totally dresses up as well. It's just beautiful. So I'm really in love with this combo. Now I do of course have a coupon code that you can use, which is just Anna. That'll get you 15% off anything on Nord Green's site. And you can even use that code on top of their already discounted gift bundle which is fantastic. So I have that linked at the top of the description as well as a link directly to Nord Green. Once again, thank you so much Nord Green for continuing to support my channel. And without further ado, let's get underway with having a wee look-see through this makeup bag. So this is the makeup bag that I've been using for the last couple of weeks. It's from Paula's Choice. It was like a little free gift with purchase. And it's nice because it's quite big so I can fit literally everything in here as well as a couple of brushes. And my makeup over the summer has been very predictable, featuring the Purito Sicker Clearing BB Cream in shade 21. Um, I've had a lot of you guys asking about the new shades. I did order shade 13 and 15 and I swatched them on my Instagram. So if you missed that, definitely check out my Instagram. I did do a couple of swatches there. But for myself personally, I still just prefer shade 21. I really like the undertone of this one having that sort of almost greyish look to it. So I'm sticking with shade 21, I really like it. I did try mixing shade 13 with 21 or 15 with 21. 13 is a little bit yellower and 15 is more pink, but I found that kind of unnecessary. It didn't really, I didn't like it any more than I just like like shade 21 on its own. So I'm just gonna be sticking with shade 21. So as I say, if you missed that post, definitely check out my Instagram. It was like a couple of posts ago that I did it. In terms of concealer, I've had two that have sat in this beauty bag for like most of the summer and then one that I've just popped in recently because it's a new product of course we've got the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer in shade Fear as well as the Hourglass Vanish Concealer in shade Cream. Now this is nearly finished um, so when I went to Mecca I was going to repurchase it I think I definitely still will um, but while I was there I got a little bit distracted and found this one from Charlotte Tilbury the Magic Away Liquid Concealer. I've heard a lot of people rave about it so I decided to give this one a go first, thinking it might be a good kind of alternative to the Hourglass, but I definitely think it's not a dupe for this. It's actually a lot more similar to something like the Flower Beauty one. The Charlotte Tilbury I find to be a little bit more sort of lightweight, medium coverage. Um, this is in the shade 2, by the way, too fair. It has good coverage, but I wouldn't say it's like ultra, ultra full coverage. So I feel like I probably still would like to go back and repurchase the Hourglass one just for those days when I'm breaking up badly or if my like under eyes are super, super dark. I just feel like I like to have a really full coverage concealer and then something a little bit more lightweight. Now, would I repurchase the Charlotte Tilbury? At this stage, I'm not sure because I feel like I can get the Flower Beauty one for about a fifth of the price. <laughs> And I feel like this just really is so similar, but it is lovely. I am really enjoying it. 
Another Charlotte Tilbury product though that has been in my collection for most of the summer and I've really 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 enjoyed is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder and this is in the shade 1 so this is the lighter shade. It's such a beautiful powder, it's so finely milled, I've just been using this really big <laughs> like floppy brush, it's a shoe mirror. It's extremely flexible, so it applies powder really, really lightly. Like you can't build this up with this brush, so I quite like that because it applies just, just enough where I need it. For bronzer, I've been using the Soul Body Face and Body Bronzing Balm in the shade Light. I talked about this in my 2021 favorites. It was a product I discovered very late in the year, like in December, but it totally just became my favorite cream bronzer out of anything. In my collection and yeah basically used it about 90% of the time it just blends in so effortlessly into the skin and it's really lightweight it's actually quite hard to build it up um, which is a good thing because it's quite warm toned but yeah the color just looks beautiful it looks natural I find it doesn't wear off badly through the day it's just lovely and you can really just control how much color you want to add to your face and it's been such a great like cruelty free and price dupe for the Chanel Soleil Tante Chanel bronzer which was definitely like in my summer everyday makeup bag last year. I will though mention another little bronzing stick that I've had in my bag. I've only used it a few times. It's from the brand Cezanne. It's the shading stick in number one. Now this is actually a great little product for travel. It's a wee bit smaller obviously than the Sol one so I quite like it for that. Which is a good thing, as you get such little product, like look how much you get in it. I've used it only a few times. So I don't know if I would recommend this someday because I don't think it's worth it for how much product you get. Um, but I am enjoying it. And the colour is lovely, it's very similar to the Soul one and it blends beautifully. Like it's a nice product, it's just you get such little product for how much it cost. I don't think it was extremely expensive, but just yeah. Price per gram probably is quite expensive. And then for blush, I know I've switched out a few different ones over the summer, but what's currently in my everyday makeup bag are two cream ones. I've got the Laura Mare Cream Blush in the shade 02, which is a really beautiful apricot-y kind of colour. Um, so I go for that when I want to do slightly more sort of warm colours. And then I've popped back in recently the Mecca Cosmetica Weekend Skin Hydro Cheek Tint. Um, this is like a little duo product. You've got a blush on one side. This is in the shade... Blossom. It's a really pretty pretty kind of watermelon -y colour. And then on the other side is a highlighter. Now I don't really use that because I basically just don't use highlighter these days. As you can see my skin still has so much glow to it from the Purito so I just don't need it. But it's kind of handy to have it there. And I usually just do like a little dot on each cheek. <laughs> like a little doll. And then use the use my middle fingers to kind of just pat that in. Again, an absolute like foolproof kind of product. I mean, it is quite pigmented, but it blends beautifully. And you need such a little amount that it just like lasts forever. All right, for brow products, I do actually have two in my kit currently, but one of them is super, super new. Um, so I'll talk about the product that I used most of the summer, which is the Mecca Max Brow Guru. Again, I have talked about this before. It's one of my favorite brow products. This is in the shade medium, so it suits me when I've like let my hair grow out a bit more. I've got a bit more of my root showing. Although today, it actually looks quite dark in the camera, but I have had my hair done recently. I did a half head, so just the top part of my head got a little bit of extra lightening. So I tend to use medium when my roots are showing and then the shade fair when they, like when my roots are done. But I went to repurchase this along with the lighter color and they had neither color in stock. So I have to go back another time once they're in stock and repurchase them. But in the meantime, I thought I'd try something new. So while I was at Mecca, I picked up this one from Cosas, the Ear Brow in the shade Taupe, which is a beautiful product. It works really, really nicely. I do think the shade Taupe is a little light, especially on the outer part of my brows. I just feel like I like something like a touch deeper. Um, and I'm not a huge fan of the packaging. I feel like it's very sort of Gen Z. <laughs> I'm very millennial. Like I like I like Charlotte Tilbury packaging. So this kind of like clear plasticky sort of packaging, it's just not my favorite. Um, but the actual product is really cool. That's definitely a reason I've like avoided though buying um, Kosas makeup before because I'm just like, it just looks kind of cheap and it's not cheap. Like this was like 40 something dollars, I'm pretty sure. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, it's like tw over twice as expensive compared to the Mecca Max one. But the Mecca Max one, even though it is plastic as well, it just looks quite like classy. I don't know, it's just very plain, simple packaging. Um, 
which I quite like. But at the end of the day, it is obviously most important about how it performs on the eye. Um, and I do think this is a beautiful brow gel. It holds your brows in place, it really thickens them up. But as you can see, the colour of this one though is quite light. Um, so I do find that it's a wee bit harder to build up on the outer part of the brow, but I do love it on the inner part. Moving on to eyeshadow, this is a product that I talked about in my recent favourites video, which is my last video if you missed it. Um, and it's a product that I've had a lot of compliments on since wearing it in a few videos over the sort of last month. It's by Lisa Aldridge and it's her Liquid Lurex Eyeshadow, which is basically a liquid shimmery eyeshadow. This is in the shade Bianca, which is a really beautiful lilac kind of colour. First of all, packaging gorgeous. This gets an A plus from me. And I love how easy this sort of a product is to apply. It's exactly like the Stila Shimmer and Glow eyeshadow. So I just swipe a little bit on and then use my finger to kind of blend out the edges a little bit. And it dries down. It doesn't budge very much at all either. Like, I mean, I don't have very creasy eyelids. I don't deal with like eyeshadows creasing or rubbing off during the day. I don't need to use an eye primer. But I think if you are someone that does deal with that, you might want to use a primer underneath. But personally, I haven't noticed any like poor performance in that regard. It works really beautifully. And it just leaves a really, really pretty like wash of colour on the lid. It's just so simple. I did have the ColourPop of Quartz palette floating around in here for a little while as well. But as I say, I just started to want to reach towards more like easy to apply products. Like just, yeah, one shadow looks using things like the Lisa Aldridge. So... Um, I ended up taking that out of my kit. There were also many days in the month where I just didn't wear eyeshadow, in which case I would just go in with a bit of brown mascara. The one that I love is by Fazio, or Fazio. It's such pretty millennial pink packaging. Um, and this is a really beautiful, just classic brown mascara. Um, it is a tubing mascara, so it doesn't rub off easily through the day, but I do find it builds volume nicely as well, which I don't feel like all tubing mascaras do, so. I definitely love that formula. It's so good for just a like natural, no makeup, makeup kind of look. But if I have gone ahead and done like eyeshadow, I'll definitely go in with a bit of liner. Sometimes I'll put a bit of nude liner on my waterline if I'm feeling really tired. I'm just going to go in with liquid liner. I've got these ones from Benefit that I've been trying to work my way through. Obviously Benefit is not cruelty free and I'm trying to use up things in my collection that aren't cruelty free. Um, this is their roller liner. I've got black and brown and I kind of just use either depending on the mood. I think I'll go with black today. But sometimes I'll go for brown and then just put a black mascara on. It just looks a little bit softer. This is quite hard to do so far away from my mirror. I might need to get a compact just to double check that. Oh, it's not bad. And then if I've done a wing, as I say, I'll go on with a black mascara. So the one that's been floating around in my everyday makeup bag for the summer has been the Hourglass Caution Mascara. I repurchased this late last year. I don't know if I'd buy it again. I think I really used to like it and I feel like it's fine. I just, I don't know. I'm not dedicated to it. Let's just say that. I'll enjoy it. I'll totally use it up. I love the packaging. Beautiful. But um, I think I might try one of Charlotte Tilbury's ones next time. Or perhaps leave some of your suggestions below of a black mascara I should try. I love something with a lot of volume. I used to love the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. That was one of my favourites. And the NARS Climax Mascara was also great, but again, it's not um, cruelty free. So I'm just trying to find a really great, like, really intense volumizing, but not clumpy. <laughs> Very picky. So I'll apply that to my top lashes, but actually I forgot to mention, something I have been doing is using my Fizio Mascara as a bottom mascara as well. So I quite like the black mascara on the top with the black liner and then just applying a little bit of this on my lower lashes because being a tubing mascara it doesn't smudge and it's just nice and subtle it doesn't look as heavy as a black mascara on the lower line so I just have to go fetch my lip liner and lip balm from my purse um, nothing's changed in the lip department still using NYX lavender and lace which I think looks really nice with the Lisa Aldridge color like that kind of lilac-y mauve sort of tone that this has and then I just pop a little bit of lip balm on top just to condition. So that's the finished look there. Nice and simple. Nothing too much. Very Anna. But I hope you guys enjoyed having a little peek inside my summer everyday makeup bag. Once again, if you want to check out Nord Green for Valentine's Day, then definitely check out the link at the top of the description. And until my next video, I hope you guys have a wonderful few days and we'll talk soon.
Bye. Thank you.